Long ago, two races ruled over Earth. Humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Evit, 2000 and X Team. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Undertale and do the true pacifist ending. Ah, that volume is way too loud. What I needed to do to get the true pacifist route, and it looks like I already did pretty much everything. And I just have to get up out of this, uh, this place. I'm not gonna fight, um, King Dreamer. Or Asg Asgore Dreamer. Yeah. Gonna have to go all the heckin' way back. Look at all that stuff. I wonder what happens if I try and call them. I think I already did that last time. Oops. Let's take the elevator. Meow, 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 meow. Going back all the way through. Place we were before. Sure is taking a long time. Going through the Metaton place. Going out of the core. Huh? Ring. Hey, it's Undine. Hey, uh, this is Undine. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? That was nice. I met Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Click. Okie dokie. I just love these guys so much. I wonder if Burger Pants ever... ever was friends with... Brody and Caddy. Like, they're my favorite. Like, Caddy is like my favorite character right now. She's everything I want to be in life. Maybe not everything, but she's really cool. Wrong way. God, that face. get stuck on that save point. It like trips me. Here we go. Tra la la. Care for a ride. Yes. We're going to Snowden. Yo. I wonder if we'll ever figure out who this person is. Tra la la. Beware of the man who came from the other world. I think they already said that one to me. Thank you. Let's go check my favorite wolf. I love this guy.
Alright, so Papyrus' house, I think, is over here. Yep, there we go. Hey, friends. It seems Undine has something for you. She's the person that's not me. Hi, Undine. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Oh, yeah, I forgot I stocked up on healing supplies. Uh, to try and... Trying to fight Asgore. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, look up face. <laughs> well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so. I'll just tell you, Hotland sucks. I don't want to go. I don't want to have to go over there. Yeah, she's like a fish, and she gets really. Anyway, so here you go. You got Undine's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Hmm. Undine's letter. Info. Undine's letter, unique. Letter written for Dr. Alphys. I don't think I'll read it. Wait, let's just go back. Let's go back up to... The boat person. Hey, the cat's there. Yeah, let's go to Hotland. They always go to the left. Come again sometime. Thank you. Let's go talk to Dr. Alphys. Slide the letter under. No! What is up with that? You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Me. Uh, oh no! Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um. It's shot kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. What? Ah, it's her! She's so cute. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Hmm? Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could've. Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable! <laughs> and I had no idea that you um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff. What gross stuff? Oh! Like, is that what Metaton said? Like, I thought he was maybe making that up, like, about how she just was doing stuff to, like... She was, like, manipulating the puzzles so that she could, like, go back and save us. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um... This? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh my gosh. Dating start. Start? Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Alright, I was one. Oh, she's so cute. Oh yeah, I was one. We never really have like a hangout with Alphys. <laughs> How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. Was it Metaton? Did Metaton pick out that dress? I guess not. 
She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, don't, don't worry, I'm prepared. I can stop piling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Uh, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Um, uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating, start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. <laughs> Ooh, I identify with Elphys a lot. Uh, you like anime? Yes. Hey, hey, me too! Hey, let's go somewhere! But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it! Let's go to the garbage dump! Okay, maybe we'll see Braddy and Caddy there. Here we are. This is where Undine and I go all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Here she comes! Oh my god. Hey, look at Undine. She's actually... I like how she dresses when she's not in her armor. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? <sighs> have you at least seen her? Um... No? But she wasn't at home. Where in the heck could she be? Oh my god. Ooh, well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I, I just figured, you, you know, I, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of... To make you feel better. Uh, well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undine's the person I uh, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool. But, Undine, she's so confident and strong and and I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. Sounds like you got imposter syndrome, Malthus. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. That's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how?
How can I tell Undine the tr truth? I, I, I don't have the confidence. I, I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's role play it. Obviously, let's role play. Um, let's, obviously, let's role play. R role play? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which of us will be Undine? I'll be Undine. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Undine, how are you doing today? You're cute. <laughs> You're cute. D -d Thanks. You say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But I know, you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'd like to talk to you about something. What is it, Elvis? Then she kisses you. What? Undine would never... Uh... This is really good. I kiss her back. Just softly. I, I, I look gently into her eyes. I start hollering. Undine, I love you. Undine, kiss me again. What did you just say? Uh, Undine, I was just... Hey, well, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undine, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important, really. I just used it to make ice cream. Those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas that time. Alphys. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Oh, she's patting her head. <laughs> Undine, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shush. <laughs> Shush. She just picks her up. <laughs> <laughs> Throws her in the trash. Alphys, I think you're neat, too, I guess. You've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching Kid Park teens or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. <laughs> Undine, you... You're gonna train me? Oh god, the little blush. <laughs> what? Me? Oh my god. Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. What does Papyrus' shirt say? Jogloy? Jogloy. What the fuck? Get those! What, what is the voice I do for Papyrus? It's like, get those! No, it's he, it's like the Doctor Venture voice. It's like, get those bones shaken. That is not the voice that I was going to use. Fuck whatever. It's time to jog. One hundred laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to the timer. Undine, I'll do my best. What is the Don? But what is it? Ganbate? I think that's what it is. Ganbate. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, but they're so real, right? <laughs> Anime's real. 
Gooby Fox, you son of a bitch. Anime's real, right? Anime's real. <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Thanks for taking care of Elvis. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. That was cute. Where the fuck am I? Okay, I'm in the garbage dump. Let's see. Hold on, give me a second. I want to make sure that no problems are happening with my recording software. Phew, ye. Alright, might as well save. Waterfall trash zone. This is where we saw that really annoying dummy that took me forever to fight. What's this? Their voice. Eh, whatever. I'm, I'm tired. I, I mean, I'm not tired. I'm just lazy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, and you're also a mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I will send her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. What the fuck? I don't know what any of this is about. Okay, so we gotta go to Alphys' house or the, the lab. Um, Okie dokie. I can't seem to do Dr. Venture, but I, I can't do his voice. Uh, we're going to Hotland. Canada, what's a game you can play with a dog? Asking for a friend. My roommate just came home, and I'm just, I just feel kind of awkward that I'm doing these really goofy voices alone in my room. It's really like, what the fuck is she doing? Just reading, I'm just reading the dialogue to Undertale, and um. Separate voices for each calendar. That's, is that not a normal thing to do as I record the game? <laughs> this is a normal Sunday afternoon, right? 